You take your life from evil, from wickedness by force. You deny to do evil by force. We are all surrounded by evil things. You have to be tough to refuse to do evil in the society in which we live today. Believe it or not. Because evil has become normal. The book of Revelation tells us about that. It is not easy to refuse to do evil in the society in which we live today. It's hard. It's the hardest thing to do. <laughs> oh, oh God. I go through hell every day. There are desires, there are temptations, you know. When Boko Haram says that they are fighting a jihad war that everyone should become a Muslim. When they go to a barracks in my degree and bomb that barrack. Who is, are they bombing? Are they Christians in that barrack? Those police officers there. Are they Christians only? Isn't there something wrong about that thought? Doesn't this sound as if there's toggery? We have to learn how to love our lives. How to understand that our lives are precious. This life you have is precious. You need to find out the purpose for this life so that you don't run behind the wrong things, so that you don't do the wrong things, so that you don't embark on theories and things that people tell you. When I saw these people die, I asked myself, where were they going to? Where did they come from? I wanted to know. I read the Bible, studied the Quran, Bhagavad Gita, read all types of spiritual books, studied faraway causes, theology. I had to go back to myself after everything. After everything I did. My own experience had to liberate me. I had to understand that it's not material things that will influence joy in my life. I had to understand that it's not material things that will make me live a peaceful life. I had to understand that it's not material things that will make me love my neighbor. I had to understand that my problem came from me. I focus. I concentrate. I wanted to know more. I sunk back deep into myself. Who am I really? My soul and myself. The more I sunk, the more I realized how dirty I was. The more I sunk, the more I realized how clean I was becoming again. I remember one day in Facebook I said, I'm becoming something I don't understand something else by then I was awakening into my true self life is fun in the midst of chaos when you understand yourself because you just realize this chaos is just a part of the game and when you are playing the game and when you understand it's a game it's serious fun. And all of a sudden you will understand the rules of the game because you become a master. That's why I call my soul and I. I'm a master of this because I just want to teach what I know. I'm not going to teach pure theories. I'm not, even when I read this Bible, my experience I apply to it. 
So I'm the master of my soul and I. I don't care what anyone says. And I give you a plot of gold. You put it out there, you try it. And see your life change. Blossoms. You want a job, you get a job. You want anything, you will get it. When the right time comes, when you do the right thing. Your health, everything will fall in place. We are living moments that is so fraught with lots of corrupt attitudes. If you are not smart, if you are not strong, if you are not vigilant, you will get into situations that you will regret in future. Why didn't you do something in time? Why didn't you dig into the subtle levels of your life? And find out what is there that can help you find joy, peace, love, harmony, abundance, stability. And then forge towards the end of this life and how to do it peacefully. You have a life to live. Live it. Don't live by measures. Live it in abundance. There is a way to live this life. And just float. And just do like this. The problems will come. They are not your problems. They are just part of the system. Don't own any problem. Let the problems come and find where they will land. Don't let them perch on you. Don't let problems perch on you. Let them come. Have the experience and let them float and go where they're going to. You have... You've got nothing. You have no business with problems. What business do you have to house them? They come and stay. What for? Don't let problems come and stay with you. Hurry. Bye bye. Oh. Oh, welcome. What's up? Oh, okay. Bye bye. That's how you have to deal with problems. Your life will be like a fairy tale. Never think problems will stop coming. You are not God. You've dropped from that level to this level. Now you're no longer God. So you will have a mountains of problems coming into your life. The thing you have to do is what I say all the time to all the devotees. Harmony. Find stability in your life. When you focus and you concentrate, you will create a float. When the problems come, and watch them. The Buddha say, be an observer. The Bhagavad Gita say, be an observer. Just be an observer. Just sit. Let the problems find themselves. Don't let them patch on you. When you are an observer, you are focused. When you are focused, your environment is intense. There is fire. Demons don't like it. Demons don't like anyone who is focused. When you are scattered, you are a drop at it. <clears throat> Have pleasures. Go here. Dang, they confuse you. Yeah. When you are focused, you are concentrated. Demons don't like beings who are concentrated. Who know something they know. Don't give them that opportunity. Don't. Don't. Don't give the devil an opportunity to use you. Say no. Say no. Say no to the devil. Say you will not give him the pleasure to have you. To enjoy you. She goes somewhere else. Tell him no. Tell the devil no. Don't give him an opportunity. To have fun with your life. Refuse it. Tell him no. When you give the devil a chance. He messes around with you. Intelligence with your mind, 
with your physical body, with your heart, with everything of yours. He is not a joke. You don't play games with him. You don't give him an opportunity. He don't. No. Tell him no. Work on your soul. Work on your intellect. Don't give him a chance. What for? Don't let him play games with your life. What for? Ask yourself, why should I let the devil play games with my life? He's done this over and over and over and over. I've gone through pain. I've gone through suffering. I'm not going to do it anymore. When you do that, he respects you. He will back off. He will let you alone. He will, he will just, and you will have freedom. You will realize the problems will come into your life. Don't get me wrong. I experience crazy problems. At times, the problems are even higher than ordinary people's. But the thing is, If they come this way, if they want to learn on me, go. Go. No way. Don't let problems perch on you. And that you can only do when you understand who you are. When you don't settle down for cheap stuff. Say no to any cheap. Make a categorical decision. I'm not going to deal with cheap. Anything that involves your soul, your mind, your body, let it not be cheap. I'm not talking about physical stuff. Let the food you put in your system be of high quality. Let your mornings be of exceptional quality. Let your nights when you sleep to go to bed, let it be beautiful. I leave heaven. I used to live in the streets. I used to live in my car. But it was ever beautiful. I was always waiting to go to bed. And when I wake up in the morning, I was always waiting to wake up. Why? Because when I wake up, I'm going to meditate. I'm going to... Live in a beautiful place in a couple of minutes, so beautiful that 